Slav defense, modern, exchange variation, 4, CXD55.NC3NC66.BF406. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and the knight advances toward the center with nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square and defends the d5 pawn. c4 gains space on the queen's side, prepares to develop the knight to c3, and invites black to give up control of the e4 square after dx c4. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen's side. cx d5 captures the d5 pawn, attacks the c6 pawn and controls the e6 square. cx d5 recaptures the pawn and controls the e4 and c4 squares. The pawn on d5 is attacked, the knight advances toward the center, and the e4 square is under nc3's control. The pawn on d4 is attacked, the knight moves toward the center, and the e5 square is under the control of nc6. bf4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls the center. a6 controls the b5 square and prepares queenside expansion. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing rook. It is good. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. That's good. This protects an underdefended rook that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. 
the moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. That's good. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is ideal. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is excellent. This exposes a knight assault. It is quite good. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.